Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing more of a sit down kind of video. I wanted to show you guys school supplies and my like dorm supplies that I bought for this year. Now, obviously if you've been here for a while, I lived in residence last year as well at school. So I already had like the basic necessities that I need. So this video is kind of more just the fun stuff I've picked up throughout the summer that will be nice for me to have in my dorm to kind of make it, you know, more fun. This guy is gonna make noise all video, so just sit back and relax and listen to him making noises. But without further ado, let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with the school supplies and then we're gonna get into uh, dorm supplies. And with the dorm supplies, I'm just gonna kind of go through section of the apartment and then that's how we'll do it. So yeah. Okay guys, so for school supplies this year, I didn't really need all that much because I feel like I used my computer more in university than like writing stuff on paper, but I still did wanna be prepared. So the first thing I got was just this five subject notebook. These are my favorite because you can take notes, but you have all of them in the same place. It's way less heavy than carrying around five separate notebooks I find. So this will hopefully be put to good use, even if it's just to make exam notes or something like that. The next thing I got, you guys, was just a regular one inch binder. And then to go with that, I just got these uh, five binder dividers. I do have five classes this year. Also, if you guys aren't aware, I'm in nursing school. So yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. But I like to be able to have somewhere to put my loose leaf papers from professors and stuff. So just having this works really well for me. I had folders last year, but I ended up only using one of them and just putting it all from all of my classes in there, which doesn't really make any logical sense. Next, you guys, I got three packs of pens. I'm more of a pen user than a pencil user. So I got two packs of my favorite black pens. Got one pack of the colorful ones in case I want to make colorful notes or anything, but pens all the way. Then I did get just a pack of pencils because sometimes teachers like you to use pencils for tests. Or sometimes it's just nice to be able to erase stuff if you're doing practice stuff or anything. And then I also just got these erasers. These are my favorite erasers. Not that important. Next thing I got, you guys, was just these lined uh, index cards. I like to use these for studying, especially with things like pharmacology. You're going to need them. Next, this is more of a nursing supply because I like to keep a pen with me in like my scrub pocket. So I got this one, which has four colors. And I think this will be really helpful just taking nursing notes or writing on charts or anything. Just to keep along with the theme of like nursing supplies, I did get these little badge reels on Amazon that are so cute. It's a whole pack of them. They are like these kind and they're just the cutest things. I've wanted them for a while. There's I think six or eight of them. I don't know. Anyway, I love those. Next you guys, I just got a pack of post-its because I use these in my planner, I use them in my textbooks, I just find them very helpful. I then got a pack of the Midliner highlighters, just because I've always wanted them and I've always been too cheap to buy them, so this year I was like, okay, just do it, buy them, so I'm excited about that. I then got this pencil case, I just thought it was cute and it's really big so I can put everything in there, which I really like because I kind of like to have it all in one spot. Uh, even like extra supplies like I like to be able to keep all my highlighters with me all my colorful pens with me instead of just having like two of each you know what I mean next and most important thing that I got was my planner for this year now I found this planner at Staples but I like it because it's fairly similar to my one from last year in which it has times of the day which I need because for me just having the little space doesn't really work because then you write and you end up writing like the classes you have that day and you don't have any space to write assignments or other tasks you have to do if you have appointments or anything so i really like to have the time in there so that's what that looks like i'm so excited and it also has like start of the month things so like you can write your goals for the month your exercise of the month your budgeting for the month i don't know i just find it very helpful and last but not least i did get one of the big calendars whiteboard calendars because I would like to be able to have my whole month in one spot and then my weeks in one spot so I'm really excited to have this one and then to go with that I did just pick up two packs of colorful whiteboard markers so I can make the month part look cute and then I can kind of do a little legend of like what 
each color means if I'm writing stuff in specific color. Okay guys, moving on to things I got for my bedroom this year. I first just got a new pack of sheets. These are just from Bed Bath & Beyond. They were on sale. Don't really care what sheets look like because you're not going to see them. Next thing I got was just two packs of these fairy lights. These are my favorite ones. They're from Amazon. They come with a little remote, so I like that because you can turn them on and off with the remote instead of unplugging them every time. Got two packs, one pack for sure for my room, and then I'm not sure, maybe the living room or something for this pack, undecided. Next thing I got was just this big tapestry. Because I had a smaller one, kind of like it last year, and I really liked it, so I figured let's upgrade to a bigger one. This goes kind of like over my bed. Next, you guys, I wanted to get a new duvet slash comforter for this year. So the one I found it looks like this. It's from Ikea, and I just think it's so cute. I don't know. It's simple, but very pretty, and I'm excited about it. I quite like it. Okay, you guys, last but not least thing I got for my bedroom is kind of the most ridiculous thing in the world. And <laughs> it's a, like, doll bed for Chester. Because he needs to have his own bed. So, <laughs> there's his bed. That's what it looks like. And it's going to go in my room near my bed. And we'll have our own beds. Next, I figured we'd move on to the living room. So, I don't have the stuff I got for the living room down here just because it's too big. So, I'll insert video clips of the stuff for the living room over top of my voice. But, the first thing I did get is these, like, mirrors... You're going to see the mess that I'm hiding with my camera there. But there's you guys. Hey. I just got these mirrors. I thought they'd be cute to put in the living room. They're like almost like a rose gold kind of gold color. And they're just like different moon sizes. So I thought that was really cute. And then the next thing I got. So we are bringing a couch this year. But that's only, it's like only a love seat. So I figured I'd get two smaller chairs to go next to it. So instead of just getting like big bulky armchairs, I figured I'd get these fold out chairs. And then I figured I had to make those chairs more comfortable. So I picked up these like fuzzy white and gray ottomans from Bed Bath and & Beyond and I love them. They are so cute. They're like decent sized and I got them on sale, which was really great. And then to go with that, our couch is like a light brown, so I figured I had to like tie in all the colors. So I just got these two decorative pillows, also from Bed Bath & Beyond, to put on either side of the couch to kind of tie the whole color pattern in that I had going on. And then last but not least, the most exciting thing I got for the living room that I've been like planning, planning, planning this whole summer is my bar cart. Now, I have not built it yet, so it's just going to be a video of it in the box. But if you keep watching to like the move-in vlogs and stuff, you will be able to see what it looks like. But I am not a party girl. I don't like to go out. So I like the idea of making my own fun cocktails from home. So that's why I bought the bar cart. And I'm very excited about it. Alright, you guys. The next set of things I'm going to show you kind of tie in with the living room. It's stuff that I got for my bar cart. So, the first thing I got um, is just this margarita rimmer because why the heck not? Margaritas are my favorite drinks. So, it has like the opening and you can put the salt and then there's a spot for sugar too. So, if you're making like daiquiris or whatever and then a spot to put the lime juice. So, yeah, I just picked this up on Amazon. Next thing I got and debatably the most important thing I got for the bar cart was a cocktail shaker. I actually just picked this one up at home since I really like the detailing on it. But yeah, just a simple cocktail shaker. Also, quickly, just want to confirm that everyone I live with is 19, so this is all legal drinking YouTube, okay? Next thing that I got for the bar cart, I actually just found it winners, and it's like just one of these uh, like flavor syrup things. So it just has lime juice, uh, grenadine, and then simple syrup, because simple syrup, I didn't want to have to make my own. That's so annoying. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'll just pick it up. Okay, next thing I got, I actually got from Amazon. Also, if you guys want links to any of the things I'm saying I got from Amazon, just let me know down below and I can link it. But I got this Art of Mixology uh, cocktail making book. 
I like it first of all just for like the decorative idea of it of having it like on the bar cart but I also love the cocktails it has it has so many good cocktail recipes in there and I'm so excited to just pick ones out and then make those that night next thing I got were just kind of like cups for the bar cart so I got these ones which are just like for basic cocktails like old-fashioned glasses is what they are but I thought they were just the cutest thing ever found these at winners and then last but not least for the bar cart I got these wine glasses which are just oh I love them they're so incredibly cute and I'm very excited about these. Pick these ones up at Winners as well. Okay, you guys, the next section is the bathroom. I just got a couple things for the bathroom. First thing that I got is just this caddy. Now, we have our own bathrooms, but sometimes I just find it annoying to have all of this stuff in the shower because our showers don't really have good shelving in them. And so it's kind of annoying when you have like two people's shampoo, conditioner, body wash face wash all that so I just got this caddy that I figured I could just keep in the washroom with all my stuff in it I just find it was easier I did it last year too next thing I got was just this soap dispenser and the main reason I got this was because I already have this big like jug of soap to refill even though I now want to get like fall soaps and Christmas soaps and stuff this will be helpful to have during the off months when Christmas decorations and fall decorations are unnecessary. And last thing I got for the bathroom was just this little set from Bed Bath & Beyond. It comes with a shower curtain, this little tote, and then a like black fuzzy bath mat. But I just thought this tote would be really cute to like put on the back of the toilet and keep like toilet paper in it or whatever. But yeah, I thought this would be a cute additive and I think it goes well with the soap dispenser. All right, you guys, last but not least, and arguably my favorite part of the apartment is the kitchen. And so I'm gonna show you just the kitchen stuff I picked up. A lot of this was unnecessary, but I just love kitchen stuff, okay? Okay, you guys, so the first thing I picked up, which was definitely unnecessary, because I already had a dish set, was this dish set I found at Bed Bath & Beyond, because it's just so incredibly cute. I love it, so it has four of each thing so four dinner plates four bowls mugs and then um these other like salad plates so instead of like big plates and small plates it's salad plates which i like even better so i'm so excited about this but it's really heavy so i'm gonna put it down okay you guys next thing i got and most exciting part of this entire haul is a new coffee maker if you know me i'm absolutely obsessed with coffee and so I got this Mr. Coffee iced and hot coffee maker. It's the blue one with like the kind of marble bottom. But pretty much this coffee maker makes hot and iced coffee, which I love because I love iced coffee and I love hot coffee and I always go out to buy iced coffee. So I figure if I have a coffee maker that makes hot and iced, maybe I'll stop spending so much money. Okay, you guys, next thing I got was just this cookbook I found at winners it's a vegan on a budget cookbook which is so exciting for me as i'm as you guys know i'm vegetarian so this is going to be very helpful because i do a lot of cooking at school and i like to find recipes online and stuff but i figured it would be easy if i just had them on hand all the time so i can just look through instead of you know trying to figure out what you want and then googling recipes for that thing i just have this cookbook that i can check and i want to make it a goal to make at least one recipe from the cookbook each week next thing i got you guys was just two sets of these placemats um i got these at bed bath and beyond i think they're the cutest thing ever i just I love them and I think they'll add so much cuteness to our ugly table <laughs> next you guys since I got a new coffee maker instead of using so I used to have a Keurig so I used like these glass jars to put pods in I need something for like loose ground coffee so I got this little pot thing that says coffee on it from winners and it's very spacious and has lots of room and I just think it's so cute so I'm very excited to put this to use with my coffee Next, you guys, for grocery shopping, I already have a bunch of these, but I just grabbed two more because I seem to lose stuff all the time, so I'm definitely missing some. But it's just these little produce bags 
um, from Ikea. There's a small one and a big one, and I like to use those instead of the plastic produce bags from the grocery store. Next, you guys, this is kind of for like lunches and bringing stuff to school because I'm mostly on campus. I'm completely on campus this year. So I just got this little uh, container from Winners. It's like one of the almost like bento ones, so it has like the two separated sections. So I figured this would be nice if I'm bringing like snacks and stuff. Okay, last year, you guys, I was kind of just putting my food stuff into, like, my lunches, my packed lunches, into my backpack. And I found that if I brought, like, carrots and hummus, the hummus would get warm. It just didn't stay very good. I never really wanted to eat healthy stuff. I just wanted to bring, like, granola bars and stuff. So I did pick up this lunch bag from Winners. And it's big enough to put a lot of food in there. I probably won't need to fill it all the way, but I like it because then I can put like a full-sized container inside of it like that. And it's insulated, so it'll keep my food nice and cold. Next, I have so many, like, you know those like almost like Starbucks tumblers that you put the straws in? I have so many just different to-go tumblers like that, but they're all for cold drinks. So I did pick up this little cute mug which is just absolutely adorable i love it and it's almost like one of those yeti ones but winner's version so it was like 12 dollars, and i love it and i'm so excited about it last but not least against my own better judgment i started getting stuff for fall already now if you guys watched my videos last year you know I love mugs and I always have mugs for the seasons. I already have two Christmas mugs, I have Valentine's Day mugs, and then I just have my basic regular mugs. But I don't have any fall slash Halloween mugs, so I did pick up two of those. First one is more of a Halloween mug. Um, this will be more of an October mug than a September mug, um, but it has wiener dog on it that is in like a vampire costume, and then there's also this guy in a vampire costume and I just thought it was the like cutest thing ever and they're inside of it and I just love it so much and then last but not least I got this like kind of spooky fall cat mug and I love it and I'm so excited to drink it and it's just it's the right size mug it's huge which is you know what you need Okay, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. If you want to see all of this stuff get put to good use, make sure you stay tuned for my move-in vlog that will be coming out next week. That's the most exciting video of the year that I make, and I'm so excited to move into school. And I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.